Hello! So, this is the sculpting of the face. So, the uh, eyes I have made separately um, using a glass cabochon and a small painted piece behind. And the base of the sculpt is just a big ball of tin foil. <laughs> I've stuck it down onto a piece of plywood to make it easier to hold it because I tend to smush the back otherwise. <laughs> so this is assembling the eyes to start off with. So adding in eyelids. very strange watching because I kind of want to go and go oh oh I should have done that a little better and done it like this <laughs> so the clay I'm using is the one that I showed in the introductions so it's a blended about 50 50 between the white and the granite color it's got kind of these tiny little sparkles inside which still kind of transfer over once you've baked it. So I tend to use quite limited tools on this one. There's a lot of um, using fingertips. There's uh, the bowl tool and there's that lovely squidgy one that I was just using for to do the eyes in there. It's a, it's a rubber tipped one which you can use for working with paint uh, or for sculpting. Ball tool is super useful. <laughs> you can see how that tool, because it's got that soft rounded edge, is just getting in there, pushing back the clay from the edge of the glass. And just getting in there and going over the edges again. And defining that eye line. I wish it went this quickly in real life, to be entirely honest. <laughs> so I'm getting started on a nose here. I love the gargoyle noses, they're adorable. <laughs> and that's another bowl tool, it's a slightly smaller one. I have lots of different sizes. just nostrils there I can tell I was gonna reach for that one <laughs> this is another another smaller bowl tool and it gets right into that to the details and there's another rubber tipped one this one's a, a chisel edged one and just squishing in the jawline there oh and a nice sharp pointy tool so I love the mouths on these gargoyles. Um, they have like this kind of Ludo type jaw with the, the big teeth and uh, it's really satisfying. <laughs> uh, I've, I've used that quite a lot lately on different characters, um, including Bruce, the giant puppet that I made for Repulse of the Place. Um, So tiny, tiny little teeth here and just also putting in a little bit of um, indent so that the teeth have got somewhere to go so they're not just flat on so they actually tuck into the escape sculpt itself. And the same on the bottom. Look at those tiny little fangs. You can already see the, the characters kind of starting to come through now. And that's just nipping in with a little needle tool, just nipping those teeth further into the jaw and defining the lip. And the same for the top fangs. Just 
starting to adjust the expression a little bit more. So now I am getting clay together to make ears and horns. It's kind of gone a little bit out of shot there, but these are the ears. <laughs> I have the most ridiculous setup trying to record this, um, kind of jury rigged out of um, everything I had lying on my desk. <laughs> so I was just kind of rolling the ball tool in there to round off the ears. And a lot of work just for fingertips. And then just blending it in. It's really important to make sure it's joined well onto the main body of the clay. Um, if you leave big gaps in there, you get air bubbles and then it can then crack. It's looking a little cat-like at the moment tweak those ears down into there we go just kind of checking and blending at the other side as well there we go now we're starting to look like my little gargoyle <laughs> just nipping and folding those ears and give my little frilly edge and now I'm making some holes ready to put the horns in. Lots of rolling little sausages. So I do these um, rolling so that they're narrow at two ends and then twist them together. It's usually nice to work in pairs for these so you don't end up with one massively larger than the next. Nice and smooth. Now the different ones, I give them a little bit different character. So he's got slightly curly up horns. The last one had ones were curled down, and just adding a little bit slightly smilier in there with the corners of the mouth, and turning up that middle bit of the jaw as well. There, isn't he cute? <laughs> so now I'm grabbing some little tiny pieces of soft pastels and grinding them up into a fine powder. These aren't really fancy expensive ones, they are just a packet I've had for quite a few years now. I should probably buy some more. So I'm adding some colour with some browns as well so that it's not just too flat. It's really important to get in around the eyes and with all the, the deeper parts. Add some real depth and really bring out the sculpt. We put the powder on before baking because then it actually bakes the colour in as you bake it. And it blends it really, really nicely. I find it much more successful doing that than adding a lot of paint on. I do add paint as well, details on, which you'll see later. But um, actually blending it in at this stage is much, much better. dusting off the excess there. And adding a little bit more detail for the nostrils, all the deeper parts. And there we go! 